49-year-old Thomas Allers pleaded guilty in federal court to one count of racketeering. He admits he teamed up with two former detectives in the gun squad, Mamadou Gondo and Jamel Rayum, to use their police powers, armed with their guns and search warrants, to steal thousands of dollars. Gondo and Rayum previously pleaded guilty. Allers now admits to committing nine robberies between March 2014 and May 2016. One involved his son, not a police officer. His son is not charged. Two robberies involved search warrants executed in Baltimore County. Two others were in Anne Arundel County. Prosecutors say a West Baltimore man was shot and killed in July 2016 after Allers stole $10,000 from him, leaving him unable to pay off a drug debt. Allers will be sentenced in February. Also tonight, former Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, a ringleader in the corruption case, is asking a judge to dismiss the latest charges filed against him. Last week, Jenkins was indicted on charges of planting drugs in a car in 2010. It's the case in which Sean Souter was to testify before a grand jury the day after he was fatally shot. Jenkins argues the statute of limitations has run out. He also once related documents sealed saying, the motion to dismiss references matters of a sensitive nature. Sealing will maintain the confidentiality of those matters. In the Thomas Allers case, his attorney said today Allers is not cooperating in the ongoing investigation. The case against him includes information that Allers got information when the investigation was going on. He got tipped about it and then tried to thwart it. Reporting live tonight from the federal courthouse, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.